That's Jamie Lannister, the Queen's twin brother. Would you please shut up? I don't fight in tournaments. No? Getting a little old for it? <laughs> I don't fight in tournaments. Just when I fight a man for real. I don't want him to know what I can do. Well said. Is Bran going to die? I hope the boy does wake. I'd be very interested to hear what he has to say. My dear brother, there are times you make me wonder whose side you're on. It felt like justice. Is that what you tell yourself at night? You're a servant of justice. That you were avenging my father when you shoved your sword in Ares Targaryen's back. Tell me, if I stabbed the Mad King in the belly instead of the back, would you admire me more? You served him well. When serving was safe. Must wound your pride, now oh, standing out there like a glorified sentry. Jamie Lannister, son of the mighty Tywin. Forced to mind the door while your king eats and drinks and shits and fucks. You gonna say something clever? Go on, say something clever. Every day that he remains a prisoner, the less our name commands respect. So the lion does concern himself with the opinions no, of No, that's the... not an opinion, it's a fact. You've served as a glorified bodyguard for two kings. One a madman, the other a drunk. If we do it your way, Kingslayer, you'd win. We're not doing it your way. You look lovely tonight, Lady Stark. Widowhood becomes you. Your bed must be lonely. Is that why you came? I'm not at my best, but I think I can be of service. Yeah. Slip out of that gown and we'll see if I'm up to it. <laughs> You insult yourself, Kingslayer. You've been defeated by a boy. You're held captive by a boy. Perhaps you'll be killed by a boy. King Joffrey Baratheon is neither a true king nor a true Baratheon. He's your bastard son. You have a taste. What the taste of the real world where people have important things taken from them, and you whine and cry and quit. And your sister. How can I put this? Your sister is alive and well. Your father's forces prevailed. I see my men have finally found you something appropriate to wear. Yes. And Jamie Lannister to King's Landing. If she wasn't his mother, he'd have hanged her for treason. I should send you back to Rob Stark. <laughs> you should. Instead, you're sitting here, watching me fail at dinner. I don't want Castle Rock. I don't want a wife. I don't want children. What do you want? Supper would be nice. I suppose you want the sword back. Keep it. A one-handed man with no family needs all the help he can get. Something's changed. Everything's changed. A pity you weren't there to help, Uncle. My apologies, Your Grace. I was rather busy. Busy getting captured. So Jamie Lannister. Hmm? <laughs> Someone forgot to write down all your great deeds. There's still time. Is there? For a 40-year-old knight with one hand? My brother tells me if you keep your mouth shut. Unusual talent for a sellsword. He tells me you shit gold, just like your father. Ah! Bold warrior you are, attacking a man when his guard's down. First time to attack a man. <laughs> Mind yourself. I still have my right hand. Plan on growing it back. 
Because you'll never marry her. And neither will you. was me knocking your ass to the dirt with your own hand. You learned to fight like a good little boy. I bet that thrust through the Mad King's back was pretty as a picture. You want to fight pretty or you want to win? Oh, get on with it, you son of a whore. Is that any way to speak about our mother? Tyrion may be a monster, but at least he killed our father on purpose. You killed him by mistake, the stupidity. When it occurs to you to do something, you do it. Never mind the consequences. It's a threat. Of course it's a threat. Our daughter's alone in Dawn, surrounded by people who hate our family. It's a threat. Softer. What? Not so loud. Our daughter's in danger and you're worried I'm speaking too loudly. I don't understand. Of course you don't. You don't know me. A hundred years ago, no one would have blinked an eye at you. If you'd been named Targaryen. You would spill blood in this holy place. Well, the gods won't mind. They spill more blood than the rest of us combined. Go on then. I deserve it. We all do. What did you do to him exactly? I haven't been able to get a clear answer. Oh, well. A number of things. Does you understand what we're saying? I mean, to the extent that he ever understood complete sentences in the first place. I do appreciate these things can get a bit confusing in your family. You have served your house and your king faithfully for many years. And you will continue to do so. But not in this city. You promised me a lordship and a castle and a high-born beauty for a wife. And you'll get all three. A Lannister always Don't pays... say it. Don't fucking say it. Get word to the Blackfish. I want a parley. A parley or a fight? He's an old man. You've got one hand. My money's on the old boy. Do you wish to resume your captivity? I'll spare the lives of your men, on my honor. Your honor? Bargaining with oathbreakers is like building on quicksand. I wanted to see you in person, get the measure of you. Well, now you have. I now I have. I'm disappointed. <laughs> they have their eyes on you, cunt. Not my type. Not blonde enough. Can't go killing my son by law. Wouldn't be right. Give the family a bad name. You talk about war as if you're an expert, but the one battle I remember you fighting, you were captured by Rob Stark, the young wolf. It doesn't matter. Here we are now. Two Kingslayers. We know what it's like to have them grovel to our faces and snigger behind our backs. Your own Greyjoy didn't come here for that. What did he come here for, that? A queen. I wanted to grow up and marry the most beautiful woman in the world. So here I am, with a thousand ships and two good hands. There's only one reward I want. You shall have what your heart desires. Listen. If you have any advice at all, I would love to hear it. When we have an hour or two to speak as brothers. Advice? Does she like it gentle or rough? A finger in the bum. <laughs> Not now. We'll talk later. 
always lessons in failures. Yes. You must be very wise by now. You love her. You really do love her. You poor fool. But perhaps you're right. If she's driven you this far, it's gone beyond your control. She's a disease. I regret my role in spreading. I'd hate to die like your son, clawing at my neck, foam and bile spilling from my mouth, eyes blood red, skin purple. Must have been horrible for you as a king's guard, as a father. It was horrible enough for me, a shocking scene. Not at all what I intended. You see, I'd never seen the poison work before. Tell Cersei. I want her to know it was me. We can hold them off. Oh, fuck! Listen to me, cunt. If she decides to use them, to really use them... You're fucked. Don't you mean we're fucked? No, I do not. Dragons are where our partnership ends. So I'm loyal to the Queen, and you're loyal to sons and adult brothers. Oh, fuck loyalty! Fuck loyalty? I always knew you were the stupidest Lannister. The Starks and Target. Give the order, then. I'm so